Hello everyone and welcome to another unboxing from Always Play Blue. Today we're going to take a look at recent Kickstarter arrival Arcana Rising, a 1-6 to six player card drafting and engine building game designed by Tim Armstrong and published by Grey Fox Games. Now there's been a lot of delays to this game, it's taken a while, uh, it's taken a while to get to us but it's here now and we're going to take a look inside. Um, there's been a lot of comments on the Kickstarter itself about quality of components as I mentioned in the disclaimer at the beginning but we're just going to see for ourselves what is inside this box so straight away I give props to the actual box design itself I love the metallic and the sort of embossed look to it I I thought they were free because um, some other games have done that but I actually did pay for those as an add-on and um, the sleeves uh, so inside the box we've got the manual uh, sort of like a pamphlet um, version nice and small uh, a fair amount of text break down the different disciplines um, it looks pretty good and a little overview uh, on the back page there. Now this is the main board. Um, it's the deluxe version that I went for. So it's got the sort of double layer that holds the poker chips um, that you draw. Uh, you can see there immediately. There's a bit of you know heavy folding on that crease. It it should be fine, I guess. Um, there's there's some stretch goal components and everything in the deluxe version. Uh, and these are if you buy the base version, you get cardboard counter versions instead for the scoring and for the um uh, i can't remember what the blue cubes represent now but you can see there's a one and five for, for one set of um, tokens and there's a one five and ten for the scoring the scoring is now done on abacus and the one and five is done on uh, little wooden components which we'll see later these are the player boards it's a one to six player game so you've got a solo mode but you can go all the way up to six so there are six boards and as you can see from these already folded in half they do not line up um, and the join themselves it looks messy it looks like someone got a standing knife or something and just cut that as best they could and what's odd I don't know if you can see it here with all, with all six of them but like you can see that that doesn't line up but the other five boards are all out of alignment in a different way so it's not like it's a, an issue with the machine and they all came out the same um, it's odd that some are more flush than others some bend the other way some are out on the end instead of the side um, but the art it looks fantastic um, I, I was drawn to this as a visual thing with the game and you know these are where you put your five um, sort of magic types when you when you have the cards um, so that's the boards out of the way I, I heard a lot of bad things about those um, and it looks like they were uh, true and uh, this is ah, this is like the decree these were stretch goals um, they added about two or three cards per stretch call and they um uh, they give you like sort of mix the game up a bit you draw one of these at the beginning of the game i think and it just um changes the rules slightly and then they advise that, that you know whoever wins one game the next game they then choose what the decree card is so that's a nice touch uh, to sort of spice up the replayability um i do like that and we've got the cards themselves um i'm rubbish with these <laughs> these gold strips are supposed to be there to make things easy oh actually that came out quite well um, I have such a hard time and they tend to like either can't find the end of it or they snap off and then don't split but um, so the the games played over three stages uh, and as you can see on the back of these cards one two and I'm guessing uh, sorry three two and then in the other pack uh, two and one so it's the rest of them and there's 36 cards per um, uh, stage um, yeah nice nice looking art it looks like sort of like you know what you expect on the, of the cover of like a, a, a really good fantasy novel there's some uh, duplication I saw some people commenting about that I don't know if they were supposed to be like um, every single card had its own individual art so I can't complain about that but I do like um, the art on the cards they're quite um, quite busy cards I know a lot of games can look quite overwhelming when you first get them and then when you understand all the symbology and stuff um, you just it becomes second nature so hopefully that this works out the same way and there's the one cards as well there so you play, play those in the first uh, stage but yeah like the artwork the iconography is quite clear the card quality is not as bad as i was expecting some people said about how they were um it was a bit thin and uh you know definitely would need sleeving i think they're okay they're, they're kind of like um uh whether they're not the um sort of textured material they kind of stick together they're going to take a few shuffles but i plan on sleeving them anyway so it should be easy to shuffle and deal now these are the this is the reason I went for the deluxe version because these are cardboard tokens in the standard but they're nice sort of splendor-esque poker chips uh, two per 
like school of magic i think you've got like alchemy herbology uh blood magic and i forget what the other two are um what's the blue one potions maybe i think but yeah do like those <laughs> I, I would just sit there clacking those all day long and then these are an upgrade to the other cardboard components they were originally going to be uh, cubes of the same color but there was a stretch goal to make them shaped there was a vote to pick from the shapes there was like a star um a cauldron and then this kind of like sort of um pouch or sack that you would keep uh, you know goods in and you know the small one is the one and the big one is the five very similar colors none of the tokens are, are completely different colors originally they were red and purple i think um or was that the score tokens but yeah they're quite similar this is nice this is what you draw the the poker chips from um that's a really nice um it's a really nice material and uh, these sort of embroidered uh, uh, blood moon on the um front there and then we get to what everyone's least favorite component i would say i haven't seen much positive about this and these are the abacuses abacai don't know what the plural is but that's your score tracker that they i don't it was i think it was a stretch goal early on maybe um i've lost um, track of the history of these but people complained it, it basically that they look nice in hand they, they don't feel very good it's just two pieces of, sort of foam board stuck together um with the abacus in the middle but everyone said when these were announced you're going to knock this and you're going to lose your score um and i still feel that is the case um i've already decided i'm not going to be using them in the game one because i need the space in the in the box and two i think the tokens are fine um but yeah i mean that's our kind of rising i look forward to playing it. hopefully the gameplay can save um some shoddy components but there you go as always, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And if you'd like to see more content, head over to Instagram at alwaysplayblue or check out the website alwaysplayblue.com. Thank you.